My priest is calling no, me. No, J.P. Morosi is, though, and word on the street is he was out on the town in Ann Arbor partying like a party I've animal. I lost my mind. After <laughs> Michigan, he did. Did you lose your mind, J.P.? Good morning. Well, good morning, Lauren, from the great state of Michigan, the great city of Ann Arbor. Uh, I was actually are. not. Oh, wait, am I in that picture, Harold? Oh, yeah, did you, you find are. me there? If you're not, we're going to put you there. Uh, there you go. By the way, oh, there I am. Uh, Harold, <laughs> so by the way, I was... I was listening to the to the the preamble uh, there at the beginning part of the show about you getting the invite to Derek and MJ's luxury box. Yeah, you said I I couldn't go. You could have extended the invitation to me if if you really wanted to. We've been friends for a long time, Harold. But it's okay. It's okay. We're we're still on good terms. A big win. A big win for the Mason Blue. Oh, and now I'm out of time. And now I'm out of time. My, my apologies there. Well, congratulations. Do you have any pull? If so, next time, can you make the game start a little earlier? Your girl likes to sleep. Yes. 11.15? No, thank you. I think it stinks. I think it stinks, too, Harold. I'm <laughs> glad we agree on that. Only two more sleeps until Shota and Monaga's posting window is closed. JP, I'm fascinated by this because of the urgency it creates. Where do we stand right now? Lauren, yes. And by the way, that was a professional transition that you made there oh, to go from Michigan to Imanaga. To well mail, done. Honey. Well done, my friend, as you always do. Uh, so th there is, I believe, a, a lot of interest right now from the Los Angeles Angels. They, they want to try to add to their rotation. Obviously, they've lost some, some pitching talent here this offseason. So no. Imanaga is someone Not. that the Angels have looked at Shush. a lot. I would also say on the north side of Chicago, the Cubs, when you look at their rotation, of course, Marcus Stroman, who we'll talk about a little bit later on in the segment, he opted out, so they have to find a way to replace Stroman's innings. There you see what Imanaga has done. Uh, here we are on Tuesday, the deadline, 5 p.m. Eastern time, Thursday. So a very pivotal 48 hours to go for Imanaga, a little, little more than that at the moment. But I think we're going to hear a lot of activity in the next couple days on him. And again, the Angels among the finalists to sign him. I mean, we've seen pitchers off the board get big time money who have never pitched an inning in Major League Baseball, which is crazy. Yankees always looking for more pitching. I mean, we've said that for years, right? If you're a Yankee fan and you have Cole and Rodon and Nestor and Clark Schmidt, how are you? How do you want that to look come opening day? How about that? Well, Lord, they have to find a way to get a veteran starting pitcher. And there's been a report, uh, credit uh, Bob Nightingale and Mark Feinstein about the possibility of Stroman going there. But let's just take a look at this list. And and we've talked before about the impact of the Soto deal positively on the offensive side. But remember, they gave up a lot of pitching to make that deal possible. So some way, somehow, Lauren, they're going to add a name that we know to this list and Dylan Cease is a possibility Stroman is a possibility the big free agent arms out there whether it's Snell Montgomery they're both possibilities I do not buy for a moment the notion that well because Montgomery was there before and then traded that somehow he's not as much of an option now I think okay. actually he's more of an option at, at the moment because he has proven to them that he can get it done in the month of October which for a lot of guys on that list we don't know that about. So for me, Montgomery is very much an option for the New York Yankees. And I do believe that in the industry, the Yankees adding a starting pitcher between now and the start of spring training in Tampa is a virtual certainty. Okay, so if the Yankees or other teams, JP, are toying with Montgomery or Snell or Stroman, how about those three? Can you give us a sense of what their asks are and what front offices are working with to make their decision? Lorna, it's, it's a great question. I think in a lot of ways, the AAV is more certain than the length of time. And that's where I think you take Blake Snell, for example, someone who is coming off his second Cy Young Award, but does have a high walk rate. And I think that for some teams might lead them to say, all right, I'm comfortable with what the value is right now from an AAV perspective, at least in the mid 20s and potentially higher, but they just don't know necessarily how long it's going to be. I, I, I think if Snell is willing to go shorter, maybe like four years, then that I would expect the AAV for him would start with a three. That, that $120 million over four years is something that teams would do for him. You look at Montgomery and, and maybe the durability element for him, at least based on the fact that he was there late in October pitching very well, he might be able to get a little bit more in terms of the, the years. Uh, but I, again, Snell's performance, you win the Cy Young yeah. twice. 
that matters. I, I realize there, there's there's a higher walk rate. I think for me, with Snell, the, the pitcher-friendly park element to give you comfort of, of pitching around a walk and, and believing that he'll, he'll be able to find a way to navigate that, that is, that is, I think, a very important element here. He also, let's not forget, has a track record of having won that first Cy Young Award in the American League East, which matters a Home ton. Home and on so the road, both years. This is a high-end exactly, all-star exactly, pitcher. Lauren, great point. All right, what about Dylan Cease? Because you mentioned him. What's a realistic package back for him? I feel like you and I always talk about him near the trade deadline, the market heats up and up, and then kind of cools back down. Where do we stand? I, I do think there's still heavy interest in Dylan Cease. Uh, one thing I, I was saying last night that I was absolutely certain about, he was not going to get traded last night because White Sox GM Chris Getz is a Michigan alum. There was no way that trade was <laughs> happening was last busy. night. I, I could I could watch that game and say, <laughs> Dylan Cease is not going to get traded. Chris is not working right now. So here's what Dylan Cease does do, though. He, he supplies steady innings. And the Orioles, to me, are a team to watch. The Yankees are as well. Baltimore, we've talked about that possibility before. I wonder if Baltimore is feeling confident that they have the best players to offer. And I would say that they could probably, at this point in time, Baltimore in, in Chicago, the, the common ground point for me is for the Orioles to give up two of their top seven or eight position player prospects because they have that many great position player prospects. They can afford to do that. The White Sox, I believe, know that, and the Orioles will potentially come around to that understanding as well that, that this is the type of player they need. There's no way, Lauren, and you understand that fan base so well in Baltimore, after how well they played in 23, you get back to the playoffs, but you clearly need an ace-level starting pitcher. Mm -hmm. There's no way they can get to October of 24 without making a move for someone exactly like Dylan Cease. And you can either spend big for a Blake Snell or a Jordan Montgomery, or you give up the prospects, which you clearly have. You have two years of Dylan Seas. Wow, 28 years old, has only ever known the south side of Chicago, a complete stud. Hey, where do, let's get to the important stuff, where does the Chinese Taipei roster announcement rank on your list of life milestones? You've got to be careful. Is your I wife watching this. at this moment? I, I, I think my wife is currently watching the show, <laughs> so I would, by by virtue of this, we, have, we may have to reconfigure the list a little bit. That's okay. I think wedding day has to break the tie at the second place position. <laughs> I love uh, some so Chinese I, I think food. In so, in Wait, sole second possession to your birth of second your children. Place. So children first, wedding second. I, yes. Oh my gosh, I'm uh, getting you in trouble. As, as I'm, I'm, I, I, it, my, by the way, Lauren, thank you. Thank you for pushing, pushing me right <laughs> into this corner and forcing me to make that decision live on television. You're, You're a great friend. You're, You're an welcome. awesome friend, Lauren. Lexus, uh, Lauren. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Matt, save him. Save him. I think that list was spot <laughs> on. <laughs> no order. I think it's totally accurate. In fact, in an honest moment, he might have the, the Chinese Taipei roster announcement number Just one. Stop.